Welcome to another Spectrum Geeks pilot training related video. So one of the things that I really struggled when first getting started or deciding to get my private pilot's license is understanding how and where I can get the knowledge that I need to obviously move through the, the private uh, pilot license training. And one of the resources that I have been using and I think is really good is uh, the Easy PPL Ground School. So I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit about why I'm enjoying that, um, the results I'm getting, and give you a little show of, of what it is in case you're considering trying to find some online ground schools to, to go with. I'm recording this video in early December 2021, and at the time of doing the video, if you're trying to get your uh, private pilot's license in the UK, the Civil Aviation Authority require that you do seven uh, theoretical electronic exams based on um, different studies. So there's nine exams to do on nine different topics, and there's various ways that you can do this. Uh, you can obviously study at a dedicated ground school. Most of the time, your flight training school will have some ground school options either done with your instructor or a dedicated ground school team. There are also companies that do kind of what I call a ground school boot camp. So you can go to the boot camp uh, and maybe over a week or two, just grind through all the knowledge and you know get the exams done. And there are also um, various books as well, which we'll touch on in a moment. And then there are a couple of apps and online kind of ground school mechanisms that you can use. So I looked at a few of them. Uh, one of the main issues seems to have been, I think it was either earlier on this year in 2021 or perhaps last year uh, in 2020, the Civil, Avi Civil Aviation Authority kind of changed the setup a little bit in terms of it used to be a paper-based exam and now they've moved it to an electronic exam. So what I kind of get a grip from in the past that obviously to try and pass those exams, it, there was only a select amount of questions in the paper question bank and different people got hold of obviously the questions and you could back, basically look to pass those exams just by learning all the possible permutations of the questions that are available in the paper question bank. Now it's moved to electronic. Of course, there is still a question bank, but it's hundreds and hundreds of questions. So it's still multiple choice. Um, so you still, you know, you've got a one in four chance of getting the question right most of the time. Um, but I think they're trying to put more emphasis on making sure that you really understand the material, um, which I think is obviously very important. Uh, and so making it perhaps a little bit harder um, to pass the exam, at least make sure you know more about the subject area to um, cover the exam. So myself personally uh, I've done boot camps and things like that in the past they don't always work that well for me I like learning at my own pace uh, I like to feel that I am prepared I also like to get uh, a sample of the information that is available so I've done uh, a couple of things at my school I haven't done any ground school uh, schooling there but they do have some um, mock questions based on their own uh, understanding of what they think the, the questions will be like. So I had a little look through those and went through those. They seemed uh, pretty good. Um, then there are two books or two providers of various books for all the different subjects that seem to be quite popular. There are these ones here, the Poolies uh, books, uh, and I have uh, all of the Poolies books and I think they're actually really good. They're going to some good, good technical detail and uh, Sometimes not always the easiest to understand, um, but again, you're learning, so it's new topics. Uh, and then there's also these AFE books as well. So I only have the um, flying training AFE book, but in some ways this book seems more simplified uh, and at least easier, easier for me to understand. So I think that works well for the, the flyer training one. I use it to try and get my head around some of the, the, the training lessons we can do in terms of actual flying as opposed to the ground school pieces. But all the Pooley's books I have uh, for the ground school uh, subject material. And so what I've been doing is I read through those, try and get my head around what's happening, um, especially some of them, like the ones I just completed, Air Law. Um, it's a dry topic. It's quite hard to read about for someone like myself. Um, and that's then when I really started to look at different things. 
And that's why I decided to go and pay for the Easy PPL Ground School. Uh, when I signed up initially, it was £9.99 per month per course. I think now it's increased to £10.99 per month per course. But if you need to renew it, it's a little bit cheaper. So at the time of doing the video, um, I've only done two of their courses. One is Air Law and the second one being Operational Procedures. I've done both of those because they were the first two exams um, that I wanted to do. Next, I'm going to sign up for Communications, but I'm in the process of reading through the Pooley's Communication book so far. So as I mentioned, I read through the whole book first, then I will um, go on here and do the ground school. So let me show you a little bit about the website, how it looks, uh, how, how you kind of use some of the materials, and give you a little sample of what the material content looks like and why I like it. So here we are on the Easy PPL Ground School. So when you go to the main page, um, you can obviously see this information here. They um, do a free three days access to the Air Law course. So again, you can have a look at this um, right now. Uh, one other thing I would ask, I don't know actually what I get uh, for it, but if you think this is a, a good way for you to learn when you log in and when you sign up uh, you don't need to provide any payment details until you actually want to buy something and uh, there's an option to put in a referrer if you could put dale pearson in the referrer that would be good maybe i might get access to some of the materials um for free or, or whatever i can do some follow-up videos in the future but basically uh, lots of information on the guidance uh here in terms of all the different exams and how things work so if you look at private pilot's license Lots of tips, uh, some breakdown of the nine different exams uh, that you need to look at. Uh, they also have their own recommendations on the order you should do them in, but your school may specify a specific uh, order, so make sure you work with that. Tells you a little bit about uh, the exam pass marks, how many times you can fail them, what happens if you fail, all that kind of thing. Really good um, materials, uh, some tips on how to study, etc. Then we look at the courses. So, um, We'll look at the private pilots courses and you can see here, here are the initial licensed courses that are available. So Air Law and ATC Procedures, this is one that I have access to right now. And you can see uh, it's £10.99 if you want access to the full course or £7.99 if you just want access to the exams. Personally, I rec recommend accessing the full course. Um, you do have then access to the online slides that will take you through the whole course. So instead of like reading the whole Air Law book, you can go like, through 380 odd slides uh, on their site if you want to. I think you'll probably be okay with that uh, if you didn't want to read the book, but again, up to you. And then if you want to um, renew, so it takes you longer than a month or you need more than a month's access, you can um, you know, renew. If you have the full course, obviously you have those uh, slide materials and access to the exams as well. One thing that I would like, uh, but I understand why they didn't do it, is you can't download the slides. So you have to be online and connected to the internet on your laptop or your desktop or your phone or your iPad to see it. Would have been nice sometimes to be able to download and print out some of the slides a bit easier. But yeah, I understand why I guess um, they're doing that. So air law and ACC procedures, uh, aircraft general knowledge, communications, flight performance and planning. Again, they're all the same price. Um, the only thing where things change a little bit is they have this um, radio telephony full course. So at um, some point in your flight training, you're going to have to get your radio license. I think it's FROL or something. Um, and one of the ways you can prepare for this is the doing the Easy PPL radio telephony full course. I've got no idea how good that is or not. Um, and I may or may not have a go at that. Um, not too sure. Um, Oh yeah, it's even here, F-R-T-O-L. Uh, and then they also have um, some prep for your um, exam preparation. So when you actually come to do that exam. So that's also separate from the nine uh, exams we mentioned already. Then there's some uh, differences course, like if you've got a plane with a variable pitch propeller, they have a course for that. And then after you've completed your PPL, another resource um, to help prepare you for your instrument rating training as well as night rating and I'm, again i may come back to that um and then there's some other kind of best practice courses so things to help with your navigation infringement advice you get that free right now when you buy um, one of the courses i've not had a look at that yet um and then again some other ones so 
in terms of who is um, doing these uh, trainings, you can ask an instructor at any time for any questions. I found in less than 24 hours they respond. Um, so you can just ask an instructor a question about generally anything. Uh, and then also if when you're doing the mock exams, if you get a question wrong or you kind of don't agree or you're not confused about something, there's a button specifically to ask a question about that specific question. And again, I found that they come back um, to you really, really quick. Um, and I'm just trying to see if there's anything about, yeah, if we just look at meet the team. So there, there's uh, quite a few people here and I've had answers from different people. I guess depends who's reading the emails and coming back. I've had responses back from Nigel uh, and from Lee. And then there's Zoe as well. So there's three people, it seems, being the main people um, working behind this. But I'll show you a quick a little sample uh, of some of the things that you can see in here. So when I go to study, um, I can see my certificates. So one of the things that's quite helpful here is when you get to a certain stage that you've gone through the course material and you've done the exams, uh, the mock exams, and you're getting a good enough um, pass mark. So I think it's generally, if you're getting over 75% at least three times, they will give you a uh, certificate readiness uh, printout, basically, that you can show your flight school and your instructor to help kind of validate that you think you're ready to take the exam. Um, so that's quite helpful. I'm going to show you an example of that here. Uh, so obviously there's, there's my stuff there. And again, some examples of my pass marks. So 95%, 85%, 90%, 95, 95. 75 wasn't too good. And obviously uh, some of the earlier stuff as I'm trying to get my head uh, around things. So that's really handy that it does that. And you get, you get that for every one of your courses. Um, so then if we go to study my courses, um, again, as, as mentioned, mine are running out for air law and operational procedures runs out a bit later in the month. But again, I'll give you just a, a little example of some of the, the stuff on here. So you can see um, you get access to these slides. They're all watermarked with your name. So if someone decides to leak them online, then obviously they're going to know who leaked it. You go through each of the the slides, get information, and it really is helpful in terms of giving you breakdowns. Uh, most general content is in black, and then something in red is something that typically you really kind of want to make sure you get your head around, maybe do some further reading, and there's a good chance it will come up in the exam. So again, just example of some of the slides there. Again, I'm not going to go for everything. I don't want to get in trouble, but really good, really clear, well written, I think, works well. Lots of resources as well. So we click here for resources. Each of the um, slides sometimes references a civil aviation uh, uh, reference document or some other document. And so instead of necessarily always sending you back to the CAA, they pull down and maintain the latest versions um, of those into the resources section. That's the other thing that I also really like um, about Easy PPL Ground School is the subjects, to some extent, are constantly changing. Only minor changes here and there, but they're constantly making updates. And you can see here the last update was made uh, on the 26th of November. And there is somewhere, I'm trying to remember um, where it is, but somewhere there's, there's a list and it shows you um, when the last things got updated. So that, that's obviously rather helpful. Uh, and then the other thing I'll show you is, again, back on the courses, um, the exams. So again, as you're going through the different uh, slides at different junctions, it will kind of stop and say, right, okay, now it's time to test your knowledge on this specific piece. So if again, if we look at, um, it's like a progress test. So if we should have a look, click on test me. Um, so here you have these uh, questions. So what does uh, the ICAO stand for? You then choose um, whatever answer you want. So, so you can choose that one. It's not going to give you the answer straight away. Uh, you then just go through the second question. Again, I'm just clicking things. I'm not reading what the question is. Go through everything. Click, check, check. Um, and then you submit all answers. Obviously, I fail because we're not paying attention. But then you can go through and see um, what the right answer was supposed to have been. So obviously in this example, 
International Civil Aviation Organization shows that for each of these. I got one right by guessing. So orange because I didn't answer them. Green means it that you got it right. And red means that you got it wrong. Regardless of whether you got it right or wrong, there is a you can see an explanation for this question. So it provides more detail as to what the, the real and right answer is. Um, and then as I mentioned before, there's this little button so you can ask an instructor for further help with the question if you're not too sure about something. So that's it. So I think the Easy PPL Ground School is really, really helpful. Um, after you've done any, any of those little exams, it also sends you an email just to kind of confirm kind of how well you did or you didn't do. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. So when I was doing uh, the, the tests, you can see in that, as results I showed you earlier, once I was getting kind of 85, 90, 95, only got 100 a couple of times. Maybe some, some could argue you want to get, make sure you get 100% every single time. But one of the things I decided not to go with that approach is the, the question bank is massive. Um, I, I don't know how, how relevant that level of knowledge is um, to be able to get 100% every time because um, in real life, you may have your knee board and you may have some things on there to remind you of a certain thing with VFR flight or anything. So I was confident. As long as I was getting kind of 85, 90, 95, I felt confident to go and do the exams. That's what I did with the Easy PPL Ground School for both the air law and the operational procedures. I went and did both those exams back to back. And um, as you will have seen in one of the other videos, I got 75% on both of them, which is obviously just the pass mark. Uh, I admit, um, I wish that uh, I got a slightly higher mark. Not that it matters, just for my own kind of personal frustration. Um, but again, I feel confident that this training mechanism helps uh, me progress. So what I will do, uh, obviously this video will be going out as I'm still training and doing the other exams. So I will add some comments as I go as to if I still think EZPPL Ground School is working. And obviously you'll see other videos as I attempt to take the different exams and the results that I've got as a result of them, whether I failed them, whether I passed them or anything. But I hope this video was helpful. Please like if it has been. Again, as I mentioned, if you're considering signing up, um, please put Dale Pearson in the referrer. Press the subscribe button if you're liking the kind of content we've got on the channel. Not just about pilot stuff. There's car stuff, 3D printing stuff, drones, gadgets, all sorts of other stuff, solar. Um, I mean, to all sorts of geekery, as the channel name suggests. And also consider pressing that notification icon so you get made aware of the videos that I'm uploading as well. So take care of yourself. It's a little bit of a long video, but hopefully it gave you a little bit of an overview. So if you're considering buying uh, online ground school training, this is one that's definitely worth considering. Take care of yourself. Until the next one, bye for now.